Welcome to your rock science feature video. In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how an open pit mine can be modeled by importing surface and subsurface geometry from DXF and STL files. Go to your directory, File, Recent, Tutorials, and open the file, Open Pit Stability Analysis, Starting File. This file contains all the required material properties but does not contain the model geometry. Let's get started. Select, File, Import, Import Geometry. The ground surface and pit geometry have been stored in an STL file. Open the file openpitgeometry.stl. Select the layers in the Filter Entities dialog by clicking the Open Pit Geometry .stl drop-down option. Although the layers are selected, they have not yet been added to the project. To do so, select the right arrow. Select Next to enter the Repair Entities dialog. Select OK to import the file tutorial number 8. Select the Import option again and import DXF files. Open pit layer 1 and 2. You should see two more surfaces representing the boundaries between material regions. Let's create an external volume. In the sidebar visibility pane, select the first entity at the top of the list. This is the pit surface imported from the STL file. From the Geometry menu, select the Create External from Surface option. Select OK without changing the default values in the dialog. The external volume should be created by extruding downwards from the outer perimeter of the pit surface geometry. To divide all geometry, you need to select Geometry, 3D Boolean, Divide All Geometry. This will intersect the two material surfaces with the external volume. The model should appear like this. Let's assign the materials now. In the sidebar visibility pane, you should see the following entities. The divide all operation has created an external volume which consists of four different volume regions. We need to assign the correct material properties to each external volume region. The model layer order may differ in visibility pane depending on the order of the layer import or extrusion. Click on the fourth entity in the Visibility Tree list. In the Properties pane, notice that the default material assignment is Sandstone. We need to change this to Limestone. In the Properties pane, change the Apply property to Limestone. Click on the third entity in the list and also assign the Limestone material property. We have now assigned Limestone to the upper material layer of the model. Click on the second volume entity and assign the ore material. The material assignments are complete. Save the file with a new file name. This model should appear as follows. We will now mention an alternative method of assigning materials which can be very useful for assigning material properties to complex 3D models. Now we are going to assign the materials using a cutting plane. Select Materials Assign materials using cutting plane. You will see the following dialog and a movable cutting plane will be displayed in the model views. For complete flexibility, the cutting plane can be moved or rotated to any angle using the freehand manipulation tool to view any section of the model as shown below. This is left as an optional exercise after completing this tutorial. Let's move on to slip surface options. Select Surfaces, Slip Surface Options. We will use the default settings. In order to compute, we need to save the model first. Select Analysis, Compute. Only the GLE analysis method has been selected in project settings. The analysis should take a few minutes. Now let's view the results. First, select the Results Workflow tab. Select Show Contours. You should see the following. The safety factor of the critical slip surface using the GLE analysis method equals 1.42. Search options. When using the default slip surface and search settings, you should not assume that you have located the true global minimum surface on the first analysis. Select Surfaces Slip Surface Options. In the Slip Surface Options dialog, increase the number of nests for the Cuckoo Search to 50. 
In Cuckoo Search settings, increasing the number of nests will increase the chance of finding a surface with lower factor of safety, but it would take longer time to compute. Select OK. Select Compute and rerun the analysis. In this case, the global minimum slip surface and safety factor is similar as the previous analysis with 20 nests. However, in general, you should try different search options and parameters to verify the global minima. The safety map feature shows the contour plot of all slip surfaces on a model. It allows users to locate multiple weak zones with the legend showing factor of safety. The contour option of the safety map can be modified by selecting custom range in contour option settings. This concludes the open pit stability analysis tutorial. For more information, visit our online help section. Thank you for watching our feature video. Please check our playlist for more videos and demos.